So you've got your new uh, T0-1000 series scope, uh, fresh from uh, AliExpress or Baba or whatever the hell they call it for Christmas, and you're keen to get going with it, right? And uh, then you come to the realization uh, you don't really have anything to measure. So you think, well, that's okay, I'll use the, the uh, signal generator within. And then you remember you were too cheap to buy one, like myself, right? But all's, uh, not all lost boys uh, take solace in the fact that even if you didn't go for the signal generator, the rig still will generate a 1000 hertz, uh, two volt, peak to peak, square wave for you, for reference purposes. And it's ideal for actually getting another machine, right? Some of its functions. So again, even if you didn't option it, the AFG uh, BNC at the top of the rig, just remove the wee plastic cap. Put you back here. Get your probe, right? It's a common ground plane, so you can remove the the ground uh, line, remove the uh, cap, and then expose just the tip of the probe, right? So obviously connect to the BNC, your channel of choice. I'm going to use channel one because I like the yellow. Disregard that nonsense, and uh, just take the tip. And just gently put the center probe into the center conductor and voila, just like that, you've got yourself a reference uh, waveform, right? Straightforward, simple, and it's, it's nice because I think it's there primarily so you can calibrate your probes, which I didn't bother with because I'm not going to really use those probes, but um, you can get to know the basic functions, right? You know, you can... Firstly, you're going to want to know how to turn on and off the off the uh, applicable channel. You know, you're going to probably want to take a look at the triggering, leave it in automatic until you're used to it and you know what you're doing. And perhaps we'll discuss the other trigger modes another day. You'll see it's in stop mode at the moment. You'll get the hang of using the the uh, choir and the stop mode function. So there we have an active waveform, right? And you're probably going to want to know, okay, you're taking my word for it that it's a thousand hertz, right? Well, let's just bring up the measure function. Let's go for uh, frequency, duty cycle. Uh, let's go for max. And uh, oh, what the hell, why not pulse width? Get rid of these ones. Oh, you can see there, guys. Let me zoom you in a wee bit. Sorry about the glare. Frequency, duty cycle, max, that's of course max, so the peak to peak is two volts, and uh, pulse width, 500 microseconds. Yeah, so the pulse width, so the width is 500 microseconds, the period would be one millisecond, that's, that's a thousand, that's one kilohertz, that makes sense. And that's it. Happy Christmas, boys. Have fun.